Yeah. There's nothing I can do about it. Like I can't be reminding you and I, I don't have an assistant. Like I got I got these scheduled every day. Yeah. It's every yeah. day, sometimes two a day. On the weekends it's three a day. And you got people who still don't show up. You know, it's just different things. So I just appreciate you and for giving me the energy and time to do it. Of you course. Know. You know what I'm used to? I think I'm used to people asking me at the last minute. And I just, I guess I've grown accustomed to last minute things. Oh, fuck. And... No, I don't do that. I don't do that. I, don't do that. <laughs> I like things I think that... in order. <laughs> right. Um, I usually like order. I'm a Virgo, so I'm really big on things being in order and being on time and being scheduled. But there are some times that I'm like really all over the place. But you caught me right when I got back in from Target. And you were like, see you in a little bit. And I was like, oh, no, let me... Yeah. Do something to myself. When you said you had stuff to do, I was like, just, I, okay, 30 minutes in, let me go ahead and refresh and reset. So, right. It worked out. It worked it out. It did. It did. So, do you have your own shop? Like, how does this work for you? Are you working out of a shop? Are you still in people's clothes? Are you bootlegging? Like, what's really going on? How does this happen? You know, because that's, I mean, that's what I, I read an article about you and it says you'd be out here bootlegging and everything. You did that. <laughs> Did you out here stealing people's clothes and name brands, <laughs> cutting tags out, putting your name on it? So no, tell me about it. I everything I do is custom. So I work. I have my own showroom. I'm in, so I'm like in the, the middle of Chinatown and Pilsen. I'm right on Cermak, on um, Cermak and Canal. So I guess I'm closer to Chinatown, but then like two blocks west is Pilsen. But anyway, so I'm in the U-Haul Artist Lofts, right on the right on the bridge. Um, that's where my showroom is. I do a lot of custom, like appointment, um, by appointment only, and then like online orders. So I don't really feel the need to have like a storefront. Plus it's like too much overhead. You know what I mean? So to pay like a small studio rent is more ideal. It's more realistic. Um, I make more money that way because I'm not actually paying bills back after I make the money. Yeah, um, the awning and all that shit out front, you know, you got to pay for all that, right? You know what? I don't know. I, I don't even know. So, well, to be honest not with you. about it because I don't want nobody to come looking for you. Because <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, so the so, business has been good for you though, right? The business has been amazing during this pandemic. Um, I cannot even begin to complain about 2020 being a bad year. Yes, there has been some unfortunate, undesirable things that took place this year, obviously. But um, overall, I would say that this has been a blessed year because I've made more money. So, I, okay, so I was a, a manager at Ted Baker full-time. And I just was like, you know what? Going into 2020, I'm not about to continue to work retail. You and I work together. You know what I mean? This, for is, very this is very true. very true. Yeah, I worked together. Very, we did. And... It it, it it doesn't change. Only thing that changes is the store you're in. The customers still annoy you. The people you work with still bother you and get on your nerves. But I said, I'm not, I can't be pushing 40, you know what I mean? And working retail and being unhappy and miserable, but then trying to muster up some positive energy and be creative for my brand. It was, it was beginning to be too much. I worked in Oak Brook, so the commute was a lot. Like, I was drained. By the time I got off work, it was a wrap. And I had good intentions on, you know, going to the studio to do some work after work. But once I got there and sat in traffic, I'm like, man, I'm going home. So I was like, I'm just going to give up this job and just go full throttle with this um, clothing line, right? <clears throat> I figured I quit in January. That's the prime time for prom, my prom season. And I'm like, I'll, I'll make some money. Whatever money that I would have made at work, I'll, I'll, I'll triple that during prom season because I'll have the open availability to take on more girls. And then the pandemic hit. <laughs> and then I had to give back a lot of refunds for deposits because it was just the right thing to do. I didn't want to keep anybody's money, although they signed a contract. But I'm like, you have the option. If you want the dress, I'll make it. If you don't, I give you your deposit back. If I didn't buy your fabric, I'll give you 100% of your money back, all of it. And I did that, and I said, I'm going to put this positive energy out there, and just whatever's meant to happen is going to happen. And then we got on lockdown, and we needed masks, and I started making masks to give away to, like, essential workers. 
Uh-huh. And then that just took fire, <clears throat> it caught fire and took off. And I made for three months straight, I think I've made the most money that I've ever made on a monthly basis in my whole entire fashion career. Wow. That's awesome. It, it was crazy. My mother couldn't even believe it because she, you know, obviously my, my momager, she handles a lot of my business. And she was like, this is unbelievable. And I'm like, I can't believe it either. I can't. So I have been fortunate this year with my I'm business. Very proud of you. Very proud. Thank you. Thank you. Anytime I seen you, you always had good energy, though. You know, it's... Anytime well, I've seen you, even when, you, in, in, even when I've seen you somewhere working, you've always had in a good energy. You've never been one of those people who, like, duck and hide out the way when you see me. Like, you see me, you give me a hug, you speak to me. It's always been love and, and, a, good, and a good vibe. Always. Of course, of course. Because usually when you see me, I probably just got off work and I'm, I'm at the bar about to have a drink. So I'm, all, I'm ecstatic. <laughs> Not all the time. There's been a couple of times where I've seen you at work at certain 